everyone, it's Anon, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire. In the last episode, we found out Prima is now under attack, and we actually need to find someone to help to help uh, ward off this attack. But as you can tell right now, Prima is just fine and dandy. Alright, so if you recall in episode 26, aka the previous episode, we need to go find the sorceress, and I know exactly where we need to go. Alright, so you've probably noticed. Well, before I do that, I need to go heal. I'll, I'll do that shortly. You probably noticed, uh, way back when we were in Arid, the, that there is actually a floating continent around. Well, not, a, not necessarily a floating continent. Can I warp on the water? Ah, I use a Marble 3 to get back on the land. But yeah, you probably noticed that there is a small floating landmass that periodically goes around Arad. Alright, should be able to warp now. So uh, you can probably tell where I'm trying to warp to now is Arad. And you can actually heal for free there, that's why I'm holding off on healing. So yeah, that floating piece of land is where we need to go. And luckily, the dragon statue is in the end. And I'm also going to go ahead and take this opportunity to save, because I haven't saved in a while. Good luck! Alright, so now, with the Marble 3 on, we should be able to find this place. Ah, here it is! And with the statue, we can actually get in. Welcome to the floating town of Wisdon. This is probably also one of my favorite tracks in the game. You see, the only building available right now is the Dragon Shrine. And you can go into some of the other buildings, but there's basically... It's basically looks like that. There's nothing in here. The sorceress who sealed off the power of Tear is sleeping here. The Marble 3 no longer works. Our leader is deep inside the palace, and I'm glitching out just like the bosses did. It is our duty to protect her from intruders. You look okay. Okay. So I look okay? Alright, so we need to go down here. It's basically a straightforward In that random battle, I realized that that cutscene actually, uh did in fact, if you've just noticed, did in fact uh, defuse Karn. So there you go. So like I said, just follow the path here. Get into another random battle. Alright, All right, and I'm back. If you managed to catch that before I cut that out, those were two metal scorpions. Yeah, this is a pretty long path, and we've got some new enemies. These are the choppers. As you can see, they are related to the midgets. And yeah. Use the trusty earth key. As you can see, they're pretty fast, too. But even though they look defensive, their defense is their defense sucks. Alright. That's what we needed. We need an ox to level up. And we need it Nina to level up. And the spell of idle has been learned. Let's see what that does. Idle. Slows the enemy down. Very useful. There's something over there. I want to get that on the way out, though. Um, I don't know if there are traps around here. There is a chest, though. Alright, those were a trio of choppers. So 
Let's let's go ahead and get this chest. Have Ox break the wall and have Ox open both of these chests. Well, let's have Karn open them. A silver bracelet, that's for Nina, and a life. Both of those are pretty useful. Let's go ahead and equip the silver bracelet to Nina. Go ahead and do that. And those red slimes didn't have a chance to uh, actually even attack that turn. Something I learned, don't underestimate the power of the boomerang. What's up here? Another staircase. Aha! There's a healing spring. Which is, all, which is always useful. So I guess now I want to go upstairs and talk to the wisps here. Whoa, what the heck? You are the warrior destined to be a hero. Did you come to, disturb, to disturb the sleep of the sorceress? You must prove your worth to be in the presence of a sorceress. I sense a boss battle coming. Let's see what you're made of. Alright, this is... The Wisp. The same Wisp we fought way back in Aqua Tower, so... This battle is a joke. But to make things go a little quicker, I'm gonna have you transform anyways. Earth key. Yeah, this guy is pretty much a joke. Cause like I said, this is the same wisp that we. This is basically the same wisp we fought back in Aqua Tower. Way back when. And there he is. There he goes. Well done. And now we get to fight the Cloud, which we also fought a way back when. But yeah, this is basically a three-boss gauntlet I've just started. But it should it should be no problem anyways. Devastating. And the game was glitching out on me again. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna have Nina heal up herself just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna have Rhea transform once again into Thunder Drake. Oh. Oh, well, that's what that is. Nina's counterattacking. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, Ryu, Ox, Karn, okay, and Nina, uh, Nina, 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 I think Nina can survive one more, so I'm actually going to have her heal Ox this turn. Thunderbolt, where have we seen that before? Alright. Time to stop playing now. Let's go ahead and get serious. Get serious, please, in game, and stop throwing bosses that I've seen before. Let's do that. And you know the story. Everyone attack, and you'll use the Earth King. That's boss number two down. And Gobi levels up, like I'm going to use him anyways. Well done! And boss number three! This is the new one, actually. This is the Mist. Uh, the Mist is basically a powered-up version of the, pa of the previous two bosses. And that's about it. Once again, just have Ryu... Uh, Go into Thunder Drake form again and have Ox attack, have Karn attack, and have Nina do something to attack up on Ryu, I guess. There 
go. care about that. Uh, Attack up on bots. But yeah, this guy is basically the same as his the previous two. So nothing, nothing too special. Do attack up on Shin now. That's an AoE. And that causes me to counter right back at him. Alright. Nina, Ox, Karn. And I'm gonna have Nina kill, her, kill, kill herself. Nina heal herself? I don't have Nina kill herself. That'd be preposterous. And that's it. Uh, he was not level 20. Nice. You are very determined. I will allow you to work her. Sorceress, there is someone here to see you. Sorceress, a descendant of the hero has arrived. Please wake up. have to resort to plan B. <laughs> and that's to fry her with lightning. Ah! Yeah! What's going on here? Our duty is to protect sorceress. We have accomplished our goal. Please be nice to the sorceress. Oh, I will. We will go now. Goodbye. You better have a very good reason for waking me. A very good reason too for waking me. Typo, Capcom. What's that? You want to sink the vessels of the... Dark Dragons? Take this with you. And get the old egg, wherever that is. It's the old egg. Put it in a nice warm place, like the volcano. It will hatch, and the bug inside will cause a typhoon. Now I'm going back to sleep. <sighs> Alright, well. Come back after you drop the old egg into the ocean volcano. We will do that. So, we don't get her just yet, but as I said, she is probably one of the more useful characters in this game once you do, in fact, get her. But we actually need to head back to the volcano. There is one volcano that we, that in this entire land that we know of. And if you remember correctly, that said volcano is over by uh, Tantar. So we have to go all the way back over there. But I think I'll go ahead and uh, cut the video here, and I think I'll just meet you back over there in the next video. So, this is Anon. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye.